Greetings! Welcome to Meet Me at the Painting Table. Today we are painting miniatures. Uh, we do these, try to do these every week. Uh, that is my goal, to do a live painting every week. What we paint, you know, it varies from time to time. Depends on what we're playing on the table. Uh, also depends on what games are coming up soon. And also depends on, sometimes I ask my Patreons what they think we should paint for the week. Today we are going to be painting something from Anne Trespass Odyssey. If you notice a little in, uh, intro part there. Um, I'm okay, so I gotta make a little disclaimer about it first. For uh, Bruise Games Rides, love to see you. Thank you for joining for the painting episode. Awesome to have you here. Uh, we are so I've played a little bit of Aeon Trespass Odyssey. If you have watched the normal channel, I shouldn't say the normal channel, but the video channel, uh, I've gotten through the prologue, the first fight, and we went on our first voyage phase. That's the deal. Matthew, awesome to have you. Thank you so much for joining. Great to have you here. Uh, I'm just explaining what we're doing here. We had, um, now I'm gonna paint some miniatures for this game. They're not the very first miniatures you would ever see in the game. So if you haven't played the game, Technically, it's not really going to spoil anything unless you actually read into, yep, paint and minis. <laughs> we'll at least try. Uh, it, it, they're miniatures that eventually you're going to see. I, honestly, I don't know when you're going to see all these miniatures that I'm painting for this game. Uh, but if you watch playthroughs, some might pop up, some might not pop up. We'll see how it all goes. So my goal is to keep this as spoiler-free as possible. But of course, the more miniatures you paint for a game that is a campaign game, the farther you get into it, the more you, the, the chances of knowing what these monsters are going to do plays into effect uh, but if you've looked in the box you've seen all the miniatures anyway i'm going to show the card that has a picture of what i'm going to be fighting or not fighting but painting i should say uh lance good to see you thank you for joining awesome to have you here good evening chat and baron thank you good to have you here um i'm going to try not to show what the actual enemy does because that's also on the card uh liquider gaming zach good to see you here thank you for joining titans 
Hermesian, Her Hermesian pursuer. The suspense is killing me. As yes, I am going to talk for the next 40 minutes and you'll never know what we're going to paint. Okay, we're going to paint this thing. I will show you. Okay, let's see if I can figure it out. I'm going to, my goal is to show it without showing anything about the minute, about the enemy, because I don't want to spoil anything for people that have not gotten to this enemy. Well, I don't even know what this thing does. We'll see how this goes here. I am going to paint this. This is, oh, that's a white piece of cloth. How about this? We're going to paint a, what's called the, uh, as, uh, what's his name? Dan said the Hermesian Pursuer. He looks like this. He's like a character that's got like bird wing type things and this body, he's smashing a ship to pieces. So he is actually out of control, huge. Here is the miniature that we're going to be painting. It's kind of big. It's about as big. Well, here's my finger next to it. So it's about, oh, it's about a good uh, hand length tall. I think that's pretty awesome. Kate. Awesome to see you. Thank you for joining. Good to have you here. And it's got a little mini mini next to it. It's a mini mini thing. Mini me. It's a mini me of it. That's the deal. Same same kind of concept. It's a little small version of it. That's the deal. Uh, standing on the boat and everything on a rock. So like this. this. So I didn't know this. I, uh, some uh, some people helped me. Zach, I think, helped me as well uh, from Lacuna Gaming. If you haven't seen his channel, please go check it out. Uh, he's done a lot of Aeon Trespass Odyssey, more than I have. Uh, so greg awesome to have you thank you for joining greg good to see you we are rocking we got a group here tonight this is gonna be sweetness so i put this out on the board the other night i could have used this this is supposed to be what you use on the voyage phase and this is what you use when you fight that's the deal that's the deal so my goal is to paint this up we'll see how it goes due to the fact that it's got it's got a lot going it, it, it looks like it doesn't have a lot going for it but also has a lot going for it at the same time like it's got like this kind of spiky dealies going of course you got the boat you need to paint up that's gonna look cool it's very like gray but it also is white at the same time a very feathery type thing coming off i'm not gonna be able to paint something like that that's ridiculous because here meet me at the table we do what is called slop and drop this is what we do we slop the paint on these miniatures and we drop them on the board that is our plan so i did prime them white so that we can use some speed paints tonight that's my plan we're going to paint these with speed paints i bought a new priming a new primer and it actually failed so hard i want to just throw it in the garbage um i don't know what i did if i got a bad bottle of it or what but i bought this it's matte white air primer perfect coverage my butt it didn't cover anything it basically just shot out like water all over my miniature and i shook this thing up so much that it was unbelievable like i sat here and shook this thing like crazy like crazy like crazy and i was like walking around the house cooking dinner shaking this thing back and forth trying to break up all the paint if there wasn't any in here i didn't even know but i was shaking this up getting it ready to go shake 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 you know shaking it up and then i put it in the airbrush and it just went oh, and it just shot it out like like i was like just took water and milk and just went Bleh and just threw it in somebody's face i was so sad i bought this and it didn't work at all so sadly if anybody i don't know if anybody's had a good experience with this or even tried this but i'm in here in minnesota we have a very small window where we can kind of prime outside before it gets uh before it gets a little tougher it's either it's too hot and muggy or it gets too cold and freezy so i always try to find some good ways to prime inside and i used to use i use this a lot this is my gray primer i use i use this a lot and this works great but when you're doing uh speed paints it recommends you use white so i was trying to find a good white primer i could use that I could shoot through my airbrush and sadly that one did not do well vermont is similar short prime window yes yes matthew so you always got to find something you can use try lowering psi or throw it away unfortunately <laughs> That actually is one thing I was going to try, but I was in a hurry tonight and just thought, I'm going to do this and get on there. This, I did use just actual spray primer, similar to the stuff you see kind of back here, these kind of things. And, and this one over here, this is this is another one. I've got some of these laying around, so I just did those yesterday uh, to get these ready for tonight. That was the plan. I use black primer, but I'd like to try gray. I used black primer for a long time, and I switched to gray. I'll never go back. Black primer to me is just too dark. I can never seem to get paints to go on it as well as I'm hoping. Um, I really like light gray or white, I think is the way to go. That's the deal. Especially now when I've got this new range of paints and this new world of painting. You've got the speed paints and the contrast paints and all that, and they kind of wash and paint at the same time, which is a really cool concept. Okay, I'm talking too much. Let's paint a miniature because it's huge and we gotta get through this thing. Let's see what we can do. First thing we're gonna start with is I think we're gonna start with the actual talons down here, these things right here. They come off of him from right up here and go all the way down. We're gonna paint those with a uh, 
Sandy Brown, and that's going to be okay because I've got a plan with this. As usual, I always have a plan. We'll see if it works out. Let's see what it is. You mean cheaper paints. That's right, cheaper paints. <laughs> cheaper paints. Uh, I have... The whole thing up here, slap, chop, baby, black with a can, dry brush gray, and then dry brush white gives them the most control, gives you the most control where you want the highlights of the contrast to shine. I really should do that. But again, Dan, a couple other steps that I'm not willing to take. <laughs> I just want to oh, no, just do slop and drop. We don't do the chop and slap part for slap and chop and chop and slop. All right. I need, I need brown. Where is it over here? Somewhere. Oh, no. I'm using these. Let's see. Where's the, nope, not hardened leather. I need sand golem. Because I, like I said, I'm just throwing, I usually only throw about one color on and then call it a day. Call it a day. Again, showing people we can get this done. We can get this done in record time. That's my plan. I've got lots of stuff up here. This right here, in case you're wondering, this is my D&D crew right here. That's the, all the characters in, that, uh, that my players play with in Dungeons & Dragons. Those are the characters right there. They're just hanging out, having a party. Watching me paint tonight. That's the deal. All right, we're going to put some of this out here. We're going to move this guy. He's going to be near the end. We might not get to him. We'll see. We're going to put a couple drops of this under our little palette here. This is what we, this is a sand golem. That's the deal. Sand golem. I like this one. Uh, I like that one. 10 plus hours per mini glazing and wet blending get next to no progress. See? I used to try. Uh, I used to try to be that guy that did that kind of stuff, but I still couldn't do it. I wasn't good enough, and I just kept... I just kept getting sad. And so I thought, you know, I'm just going to paint a color on it and call it a day. Slop, drop, table, good. That's the deal. We got our paintbrush here. Right now I'm using uh, this one. This is uh, Farrego. These I got as a Kickstarter. Oops, sorry about that. Um, and I had, it's this Wolf Bristle Brushes, in case people are wondering what I'm painting with. These Wolf Bristle Brushes today. I got these. I, I joined the Kickstarter a while ago, and they just delivered like, like within the last couple months. So I've been kind of using these. I've traded them out for my, I'm gonna use this one actually. My, we this one, this will be good. We're gonna paint these on here. We're just gonna paint this right on here, just like this. I think this will be great. All right, we're gonna just kind of go right down the miniature like this. My goal is to let you see the, what I'm painting as well. Um, I really enjoy speed paints. I enjoy contrast paints. I think they're fantastic. Cause like I said, it paints and washes all at once. The care thing you've got to be careful with with speed paints and the other uh, contrast paints is you don't want them to uh, pool. They can pool and that can that can be uh, it can make it just not look that great. So you always got to be a little careful of that while you're painting. All right, let's see. Here. We're gonna bring this down there. I'm gonna hold it like this so I can get right up next to it. You always paint to something, not away some from something. That's also another thing I learned. I'm painting to the base. I do not want to paint the base because it does have its own base. It's got that cool boat going on here. We got the first one done. Go over to this one. Go this done here. There we go. Get that in there. Oh, it's looking pretty good. It's not worth being the guy who gets good at that. Yeah. Uh, I'm envious that you actually get minis painted in a reasonable time. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I like to I like to just get them, get some paint on them, and get them out there. And that's the deal. Paint on and go. And that's the deal. You should. That should be the name of this series. Slop drop table good. <laughs> Meet me at the slop drop table good. That's what we're going to do. Liquider, you're amazing. That might be what we start calling the series. Flop, drop, table, good. That'll be the deal. Paul. Oh, Paul. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Oh, my gosh. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Oh, wow. Greetings from Australia. Here he comes in. He comes in like a flash. Oh, my gosh. Like a Barry Allen. That's amazing. Good to see you, Paul. It's always awesome to hear from you. I, I've known Paul's been a long-time subscriber for a long, long time. Awesome to have to see you in here. I know it's Australia kind of hard to jump in on these these uh, these these nights, but it's good to have you here. I kind of wish that I could have a flexible job where I could do like any hours of the day and things like that. Oh wait, that's nursing, and that's what I do. No, I'm I'm kidding. I don't still have that. I don't have that ability because I work at a surgery center. But if I had like a hospital job, I could definitely kind of have different hours. But it's not how it works, sadly. Sadly, sadly. 
Now, interestingly enough, this is very similar to almost using the boat color there. That's the deal. Uh, yours look good. I fear that the last decade of me painting minis has all been wasted ever. No, I'm sure it has not. I'm sure it has not. Slob drop kill a spider. Table good. Sl some pump drop the brush on the floor. <laughs> all of those things. All of those things sum up this channel perfectly. Oh my gosh, Dan, you should be you should be my creative designer, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, that is exactly what this channel does. Every exactly what this channel does. Beerman, thank you for joining. Awesome to have you here. We're painting up Aeon Trespass Odyssey. I'm painting up my my Hermes Pursuer, covering up what I can of the of the stuff over here, so people don't see anything best I can because I don't want to spoil anything while we're painting this guy up. But I'm using the card as a reference. I always try to do the card as a reference because that way I have a I have a decent idea of what it's doing. Again, we're going to come all the way up to here. Paint to something, not into something. It, uh, somebody taught me a long time ago when I was, uh, I don't know who, who taught me this. I don't know why somebody taught me this, but uh, I think I was, I was in like, a, well, I don't know, maybe a, some kind of class. I think I was in karate. I was in karate learning from Ralph Macchio and they taught me that when you go to punch somebody, don't punch to somebody, punch through somebody. I'm like, oh, that's good to know. Why did I need to know that in my life? Considering I've never punched anybody in my life, so I don't know why I would need to know how to need to know that. I did not last very long in karate. I think I lasted a week, and then I said, nah, I'm done with this. Karate wasn't my thing. I did not break any boards with my feet or my hands or anything like that. I'm going to dig in there. You get it? I don't know. There we go. That's done. Okay. Now, I'm kind of, I might be messing with this painting camera here tonight because I'm not exactly sure I like where it is because it keeps getting, I keep blocking my own view of everything. There we go. Going straight down this. There we go. Get this last leg. Want to be careful not to hit the ship. Didn't hit the ship. Same thing over on this side. There we go, and then back here. Back of his leg, you really can't see it. I'm sure while I'm painting it, but there we go. And I want to get a little bit more on my brush and kind of darken it up a little bit. We don't want it to pool. Okay, I think we got that. His legs done. Okay, his legs are done. Can I get that now? I'm gonna actually try something. This could go bad. This could be good. We'll see how this works. I am going to add a drop of something into this paint. Here it is. Slaughter Red. I'm going to drop some Slaughter Red into that paint you see sitting there. This could be a bad idea. We'll see how this goes. Blob. There we go. Mix it up a little bit. Uh, it's too red, but that's okay. I think this will still be okay. I'm actually going to try to get some of that off of there. So it's very little on my brush. And now we're going to kind of just hit the very tips of these, these things here. Too much. Don't like that. I'm going to go the other direction. I'm going to put one of these drops on that. There we go. That should be good. There's just a little red there. Oh, there we go. That's way better. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. And now it's all over my hand, because why not? All over my hand. That's the deal. Now hopefully it doesn't get on the thing here. I don't want to kind of get this on here. And I'm getting a little bit of reddish onto it. But I'm also kind of trying to blend it into this other part here. There we go. 
So it's a little bit of red, but not a lot. Do the same thing down here with these guys. Start down at the bottom here. A little bit more on there. I'm really kind of trying to figure out exact color here. Kind of tough. Oh, I missed the part of his leg. That's awesome. Again, I'm out of the shot, I'm sure. I'm sorry. His spindly legs are hard to get in the shot. Here we go. I want to dry the paint off of it, and then I just want to kind of scrape it up the side. Then we're getting a little bit of red on there. I don't want a whole ton of it, but just enough to kind of make it a little cooler. Give it a little bit of fizzazz there. But I also want to look, make it look kind of organic as well. It's going to be a little tough. Apologize for not in the, with the comments right now. I will get to them. I promise. I promise. I'll come back to you. One more down here. Almost done. I'm pulling my paintbrush away and actually drying it off a little bit so I can just kind of push the paint around a little bit. I really kind of want to blend it in there. I'm doing the best I can, but it's not going the greatest. We got some kind of red kind of going in there a little bit. See how that is a little bit too dark right there? I'm going to kind of get that a little bit, make it spread it out a little bit. There. A little bit more spread out so it's not so dynamic. All right, I think that looks okay. That's the deal. Love it. Avoid the pool and the drool. I haven't seen any trespass Odyssey person uh, in person, but so far this bird thing is one of my favorite models. It is super cool, isn't it, Paul? Dan said the same thing. He really thinks this model's awesome, and I do too. I love this model. This model's really cool. It's got all these feathers going on here. I'm so intimidated by this model, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. The mad scientist. Amazing. Uh, I have to say, League of Dungeoneers doesn't look at, like something I'd want to play, but it's really fun watching you go through it. Well, thank you very much, Matthew. Thank you. It's been fun. It has been fun, for sure. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Look at this. I totally painted my hand so much brown, it's out of control already. Already out of control. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's see what we can do next. That's just these, this cap's out of control. That's part of the problem here. I'm going to clean this all off here. If I can, it's probably all over my head. It's going on. Look at this thing. It's exploded inside here. I'm going to get so much paint on me tonight. It'll be awesome. I'm just going to kind of clean this off the best I can. I'm sure it's all over my hand again. Sweet. Well, it's a little bit cleaner. I'll go with it. I'm going to have to put some water in this later and just kind of clean this out. But, okay. Sand Golem, you're going back. That was out of bleh, all over my hand. All right. Well, you're not a painter if you don't get paint on yourself, right? Okay. I just hope it doesn't get on the model. That's my plan. My problem. Okay. We got that. Now, the rest of this is kind of a white right in here. It's kind of a white. That's the deal. So it's the one that's not in charge of the laundry. <laughs> oh, my wife is here. It's my wonderful wife. Good to see you, Robin. Thank you. It's awesome to see you. Great to have you here on the stream watching me paint myself. That's awesome. That's awesome. A little bit here. Here we go. But yes, there we go. Okay, just the legs got done. Just the legs so far. So good. We got a new paper towel. Oh boy, I need to get a new paper towel. That one we used for cleaning out the paint. There you go. Whew. Okay, more intimidation. Let's see here. I think we're going to go with... Uh, so I could do like just a black wash on it if I wanted to. Um, I could go with like a gray if I wanted to, and then maybe an Agrax Earth shade on top of it. Or I could go with just an Agrax Earth shade on first, and then maybe do something else on top of that. Like then maybe paint a white after it dries. Let's try that. 
or else I could even dry brush it white afterwards if we wanted to. It's not really, it is more gray than it is brown. That's for sure. We're going to try that. We're going to try using, let's see here. How about we just go with the gray? I've got gray here. Let's paint a little, not black. Nope. There it is. Grave, Grave Lord Gray. Let's give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen? It's gray. And we go back and hit it with some white later. Sounds like a plan to me. I just love the fact that there are so many fantastic painters on this stream that I'm guaranteeing most of the time while they're painting their miniatures, listen to me and what I'm thinking and what I'm planning to do, and they go, oh, he's going to do what? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure a lot of that happens. Put a couple drops of that out there. There we go. That's what we go. Board Game Officer, I'm late to the game. What are we painting tonight? You are never late to the game. It's awesome to see you. Thank you so much for joining. We are, I got my new paper towel so I can do this. We are going to be painting the Hermes Pursuer tonight. I'm covering up what is on the card in case people don't want to know what this thing does. So we'll see how this goes. The worst that can happen is to fire up that airbrush and prime it very white, wet, white again. Yeah, that was out of control. Oh my gosh. Yes, that, here's the paint. That Whatever, that's gone. We're painting this up. We're going to give it a shot, board game officer. Wish us luck. Wish us luck. We're going to paint. So now this is going to be mostly the body stuff. But I think we're still going to go back and get the wings a little bit. That's the deal. It's like watching a mad genius at work. Thank you, Matthew. We're going to paint this all gray here. That's going to be the plan. But I might intentionally do it in real light gray. It's almost like we're going to hit it all. Then we might come back and hit it with a with a white. Well, I like that. I like not having a lot of this on my brush and just moving around real fast. I think that works okay. We're just gonna hit this up just like that, move it around a little bit. We're even going to hit all the way into here, but now I don't, doesn't have anything about what this inside of it is. Now, I haven't fought this thing, or I'm pretty sure I'd probably know. Officer, emphasis on the mat. Thank you. <laughs> Morganite, welcome. Thank you for joining. We are painting up some on Trespass Odyssey. I don't know what that thing is in the middle of its chest. Um, I'm just going to go with that it's feathers. And so we're going to keep on just painting this thing totally gray all around here. And then I am going to come back and hit some of this with like a brown dry brush. Other parts may have a white dry brush. It's very, the cool thing about it is very organic. So it's a little, I've always found it, it can either be easier or harder to paint organic creatures. I've noticed. I'm hoping that this is actually a little bit easier. We'll see. That's the deal. I decided to skip this one as it's not going to get played with my group. Instead, I'll just watch Baron's attempt. Thank you, Morgan Knight. Thank you. Yes, we'll see. I like how you said attempt, because that's really what this is. It's going to be an attempt. It's going to be an attempt to paint this. That's the deal. We're going down the leg here. Moving it up and around, all around this thing. Up and around the bend. Go just like that. It's really, I'm just giving it a dusting here. Not a dust in, a dusting. Speaking of dust in, new playthrough comes out tomorrow. Um, I did a playthrough of Stranger Things upside down with my son Ridley. He joined me. Oh my gosh, it was absolutely hilarious. It was so much fun recording with him. We had a blast. He's a huge Stranger Things fan. He actually knows more about it than I do. I'm not as versed in it as he is. He knows quite a bit. Um, so it was really cool to play it with him. He was he was it was a blast. He did he did so good. It was so good to play. So that'll be hitting the channel tomorrow. That's the deal. And again, the cool thing is I don't have to hit this perfectly because this is really so organic that it really doesn't matter. Again, like I said, I'm probably gonna go over this I'm using browns and I'm also gonna go over whites. But it's kind of got this dirty look to it. Again, I probably could have just done null and oil all over this thing now I think about it. But I think this is turning out a little bit better. 
Oop, that's a little bit too much black, so we're going to push that around as much as I can. There we go. More. And there I go. Up and down like that. Love it. My copy of Upside Down arrived yesterday, so looking forward to your gameplay. Oh, yeah, it was super fun. I've played it four times already. I uh, played it four times, three times with my family, and then Ridley and I recorded it. It was fun. Um, I love I loved the, 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 I actually, it's really fun. It's quick, easy to learn, fun to play. Um, so, yeah, super good. That was cool. I enjoyed that playthrough. My favorite was when he explained his turn and when you said, that was great. Now I'm going to go into a little more detail. You're a good dad. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Yes. So for those that don't know, uh, my playthrough hits the channel tomorrow. But um, I do always post my playthroughs at least a day in advance for those that are members of the Patreon. So you can always check them out a little early uh, most of the time, if I remember to. A lot of times I don't. Sometimes, Most of the time I do. I don't do unboxings, just go straight up. I unbox them, throw them up. But some of the playthroughs I try to get onto, the, I let uh, the patrons get a chance to watch them before they go up on the channel. Uh, and I try to do it without commercial interruptions. I think I do that. I don't even know. I don't remember. I'm not very good at, I really, I need to do a little bit better on doing stuff, but I don't, I'm not really good at it. That made any sense. Okay, we're getting close to this guy having all the gray he's ever going to need on his body. Oh my gosh, it's actually turning out better than I thought it would. Okay. So far, things are looking pretty good. Um, his head is actually a little bit more black than it is uh, gray. So I'm actually, I'm going to paint his head a little bit more with more of it. I do like that. There we go. And down into the thing. go run this side a little bit down there we go get it on there perfect boom love it okay i'm actually kind of excited about that guy i think he looks pretty good yeah doing stuff is a drag that's right doing stuff <laughs> we're doing stuff here this is something else almost got this done his arm missed his arm. See so if there's anything else. Now I gotta quickly go looking through the miniature, make sure there's nothing else I missed. I did miss this guy's arm, it looks like. There we go. And I think we got it all. We got it all on UHF. There we go. Okay, we got that done. Now, so this is what we got so far. We got kind of the brownish stuff. He's got some gray going on. Um I'm going to get some brown in there now, but it's going to be a lot of dry brush action, I think. So I really want to, I don't know what that is. Did I just hit him with a harpoon? Is that what that is? I hit him with a harpoon? Looks like a gaping hole of something. Let's, uh, let's make it something. I know what we're going to do. We're going to hit it with this red. I hit it with the red, but again, I'm brushing most of it off. We're just gonna hit it in there and come around it. It's gonna make it this like kind of ugh, color. There, just like that. There we go, just like that. Now we got that in there. I'm gonna hit it with a gray again a little bit. Gray it up a little bit. Get off of there. Get some more gray on my brush. Get it up again around the corners and stuff so it looks kind of yucky. There we go. That's what we're going to do with it. We're going to do that with it. Not a lot of color to it, but just enough to make it know that there's something there. That's the deal. Pretty sure it's his belly button. Yeah. M mouth with teeth. That's right. Or an alien just popped out. Lance, I think you got it. Lance hit it on the head. Alien popped out of his chest. That's what we're seeing there. The world has come full circle. Aliens are in every board game. Love it. That's what we that's what we see here. Now, I don't like this. The uh bird's beak is a gray again. It's just gray and black and boring. I don't like that. 
we're going to go with, I think I really like the reddish kind of color here that we've made. I think I'm going to use that for his beak. And of course, his one part of his feather over there because I hit it. Now, I know it's probably the wrong color, but that's okay. Creative design, that's the deal here. There we go. We're going to give that call there. We're going to get a little more gray. And we're going to go right in here. I want to get, I kind of want it to be darker right there. And I also got to hit this because I hit it with the red. Hope we get the red out of there. I think we did. I think we got the red out of there. Good, good, good. Speaking of an aliens, it was looking at the Gale Force 9 game is getting a new edition printing. Oh, is it? I also managed to demonstrate my total lack of self-control in order Metal Gear. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I think uh, in our circle, Colin is backing Metal Gear Solid, um, and I'm planning to get Stalker. So I think he won for that one because Stalker is going to probably be a billion dollars. And I don't, how much was uh, Metal Gear Solid? I'm interested to know. I haven't actually looked at it. Man, I really need to paint my copy of Nemesis. All the aliens talk. You do, man. You do. And it's not tough. Matthew, same here. Couldn't resist Metal Gear. I know. I'm. The thing is, the funny thing is, Colin's backing that one, and he has never played the video game. I played the video game, I don't know, three or four times, because that was like, the, that was what you did back in the day. You played that game, and then you won it, and you played it again. And then, like, two years later, you picked up and you played it again. That's what it is. Metal Gear was about 125 ships. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, but anything over a hundred bucks better be a good game. That's usually the rule. Usually the rule. We'll see if that comes to fruition. Oh my gosh, I got so many. Okay, we got to clean a little bit of this miniature up already. So I've got some white we're going to use to clean up the miniature. And I'm not actually cleaning up him, per se. What the heck's going on? This is base color. This is my white. I'm going to shake it up. I don't think I've ever used this color. That's the deal. I'm sure Stalker will end up being $200 plus, time, dollars plus the time I get all the minis. Yeah, I'm going to be paying, I'll bet, like three fifty for that game by the time it's all done. Hopefully my wife's not still listening. Um, because I'm sure it'll be like, oh, the all-in pledge with the sun drop miniatures and blah, 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 blah. It's going to come to three fifty, And they'll look at it and go, but I don't need all that stuff. And when I add up all the stuff I'm going to need, it'll come to like three twenty five, And I'll be like, might as well do the three fifty. That's the deal. Even if it ends up not being a great game, it's very likely you'd be able to resell given the mech, mecha extra. Ah, the mecha extra. Is that that giant mech? Do they have the Metal Gear Solid mech in there? Is that the deal? That's cool. What we have to touch up is the base. I've managed to spray paint all over this base. And it's not really even the same white, but that's okay. It's close enough. When it comes to painting on top, it'll be just it'll be close enough here. Any place I hit with a color. I think that's good. But eventually I have to go down to the base. There we go. Cool. Okay. I'm just glad Stalker's mostly standees, but the minis look really cool so far. Yeah. Um, if it's all minis, eventually I'm going to have to get it. I think Metal Gear looks great and very teachable, well worth 125 for a game I can get played a lot. And that's the cool thing about it. If you can, that's, I mean, I was, I mean, getting even four plays out of uh, the Stranger Things game so far, and we've only done the first, uh, first season. I'm pretty excited about that because I know that means I'll probably play at least four or five times the second season too. And that, having all the different characters we can play as well. And the cool thing is my family likes it. So that helps a lot too. I like that. Okay. I think we're going on to the feathers now. These feathers. I'm just going to get core plus minis. I've never seen to get all in extra content played. No, exactly. I mean... That's a, that's a, yeah, a hundred percent, hundred percent. I should probably do the same thing you do, but then I fail miserably and I cave. 
I cave every time. Every time I cave. Every time. That's the problem. Every time I cave. Oh, all right. We get back to this guy here. Now he's got these wings. I don't just want to paint them all gray like I did his body. Besides his body, he's got that thing going on. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, we want to go with... Oh, I missed a part. Dang it. Really? All right, we're going to get this paint back. I really need a new white. Why do I have a wraith bone? Don't I have a white? I thought I had a white somewhere. I thought I bought white. Didn't I buy white? Guess not. Wraith bone it is. Where did I see it? Oh, I saw it back here. There we go. I did a gameplay all in for ISS Vanguard, and I kind of regret it since I'm not sure I'll find the time to play the expansions. Yes, 100%. I mean, I'm barely finding time to play the base game. Uh, with, I mean, Colin and I are still trying to debate if that's going to be our game going forward, but we just, I think it's too hard to stream. That's the problem. And for that game, I want to keep playing it because I want to keep that story in my head. Um, so we're, I'm, I'm not sure what to do about that game. I really don't know. I wonder if I'm just going to do it on the channel. That might be what happens. Might happen. Let's see what happens. Um, okay. We got our bird going here. Just a little bit. Okay. So here's what I want to do with the wings. The wings have this cool blue coming off of them. But I also want to make it kind of a dirty blue is the deal. So I've got, let's see what I've got here. Highland blue. And right here I've got magic blue. Well, I don't know why I'm not using magic blue. That's just, that's just, ooh, cloud burst blue. That's it. That's it. See you, Barrett and friends. Lunch is over and I have to go back to work. Oh, it's awesome to see you, Paul. Thank you so much for joining. Wish you well. Have a wonderful lunch. I had, uh, for my lunch today, I had uh, French dip sandwiches. Um, it was pretty sweet. I bought them out of the freezer section and cooked it up the night before, and I had their leftovers. That was the deal. Matthew, thank you for joining. Awesome to have you here. Thank you for joining. We are painting A on Trespass Odyssey. We are painting the Hermes Pursuer. Boom, 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 boom. That's our plan. We'll see how this goes. Glad you could join. Thanks for being here. I'm playing the Assassin's Creed Core Xbox, um, which is essentially a standee version. And I'm having a blast. I actually really prefer standees now for lower replay, replay games. Very true. Um, especially that game. That game for sure. Because you don't need a million and a half standees of a guy holding a crossbow. Right? Just saying. That's my that's my fact. The fact that they weren't uh more there weren't a boatload of expansions, add-ons, and stretch goals was actually a selling point for me for Metal Gear Solid. That's awesome. So it's kinda like here's you go, game. Love it. Love it. I'm wishing more people do that. Here's game play love. All right, this cloud burst blue. I'm gonna hit it with. I'm gonna use this paintbrush because I'm gonna be painting this whole thing with this. All the wings. Then we're gonna come back and kind of touch up the wings. We're gonna kind of do more stuff with them. So here's the cloud burst blue. We're gonna see what this looks like. This could be a disaster. Um, I say that a lot. Hopefully not. So we got a lot on this brush. We're just gonna paint it in here and see what happens. Oh yeah, that looks okay. Kind of digging that blue. Love it. Okay. Like I said, we're going to come back and do some more stuff to these wings eventually later. But for now, I'm okay with this. And down like that. Now, I don't know if I want to get his feathers yet. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the feathers. We're gonna do that with these. There we go. That looks pretty good. Liking that. Since Hankane games are for me like the only going to get played one or two times, why do I need to paint 500 grunts? Now, a zombie side that I'll play a million times for sure. Oh, 100%. 100%. 100%. I think I'm the guy who's talking about. He's talking about. <laughs> oh, funny. Let's. Continue on. Oh my gosh, here we go. I'm gonna get the ones inside. Now we're gonna get inside these these wings here. There we go, get up on top. More paint.
Paint on these. Oof, die, here we go. Dueling Matthews. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Right now, I've got the blue on my hand. Why not? Painting his wings blue. And I'll come back and really deal with a good way to do some of these, I hope. That's the deal. Two more drops of that. That should be pretty good. Move still. Let's see if we can do this. Did I do the wrong color? Yes, I did. That was awesome. That's my favorite when you do the wrong color. But that's okay. It's organic bird. I will say that's one thing that's kind of tough about the speed paints is the fact that they kind of look the same when they're on the palette sometimes. So now we have some gray in there as well, and that's just fine. We're going to paint over it with some blue. All right. It's actually going to be something I'm going to try here in a little bit, putting gray into that. Right out on the top of there. There we go. Pretty good. Hey, Matthew, it's a good to see you again. We have a lot in common. That's fantastic. Agreed. Gentlemen and scholars, for sure. Steve, welcome. Thank you for joining. Oh, my gosh, Steve. Great to see you. Thank you for joining me at the table while we paint some miniatures. We're painting up a uh, Aeon Trespass Odyssey giant bird. It's awesome. It's the Hermes adversary thingy. Or Hermes, sorry, pursuer. Hermes pursuer. It's awesome. It's awesome. One of you is a gentleman and the other one is a scholar. I know which one. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Steve, thank you for joining. Awesome to have you here. Let's keep going with this miniature. I touched it. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. All right. Get these wings. Getting them blue. We'll do something about them after that. All right, wings are blue. Blue hair. Okay, there we go. And then we'll do something. I'd probably dry brush these in the next week. I think that's what we're going to do with these. What are we doing down here? I'm looking inside the wings to make sure we got all those parts in there. Looks pretty good. Around all the parts, just that part. All the parts, all the parts, all the parts. Spinning around, spinning around, looking for something white, looking for something white. I will say it's the one thing about priming in white is that sadly, if you miss something, you can really know. There you go. Okay. We got blue wings. They're actually a lot less blue than they kind of look. They look more grayish blue. That's the deal. I planned out the get Colin to watch Aliens Drawing today. Oh, that's awesome. Boom, boom, boom. I'm excited for that. I, I The funny thing is I know he's going to he's gonna watch it and he goes like, ah, oh, that wasn't that great. I know that's what he's going to say. I know him. I know him. I know he's not going to like it. But I'm still going to be able to make him watch it, which is going to be amazing. Really good. Which means I should probably he should probably make me watch one of his favorite movies. If it's Shanghai Noon, 
I don't know. Don't know about that. Okay. That one's cleaned off. Put it over there. Good stuff. We will get Colin to watch Aliens. Gosh darn it. That's right, Matthew. That'll be what happens. Oh my gosh, it'll be sweet. All right. Now I want Agrax Earthshade. Okay. I'm going to do an Agrax Earthshade on this thing. I think that'll be the deal. I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Has the witch been painted? <laughs> No, no, the witch has not been painted. We probably should paint the witch because then it might actually, but I was so impressed. Whoops. I was so impressed with our team last week that we did not need the witch. We were sweetness. That's the deal. We were sweetness. That was awesome. All right, we're going to put some of this Agrax Earthshade right on top of these white feathers here. Make it kind of look a little dirty. These these feathers, just these feathers right here. And I'm just going to kind of walk it down now. There's there. There you go. There you go. Get some more. Now, again, this is just a straight Agrax Earthshade wash. That you get from GW or Games Workshop, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm just throwing it right on top of this white, and that's totally fine. It's going to work great. Okay, there we go. On there. Good. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I see what I did wrong. That's probably not enough here. This should all be that blue. Whoops. That's the deal. Dan is right. Dan is 100% correct. I will show you Dan's comments in a second. I see to paint that blue. There we go. Yep, oh, okay. I have to wait for those to dry a little bit. Just gonna take a little while. That's the deal. All you need is the blade and the cur. Boom. That's it. That's what Matt's talking about right there. Or Dan, sorry, Dan's talking about cur and blade. Oh my gosh! For those that didn't see it, I'm not gonna spoil how the fight went, but let's just say that our opening was just bonkers. It was absolutely bonkers. Painted the witch will be Baron's epitaph. It will be his final act. Okay. Here's the deal. When I come back from Gen Con, that'll be the first painting episode we do because I've already figured it out that if we, like I said, I think I said this last time, if we can, uh, if we don't miss a week, our last fight will be a week before we go to Gen Con. That'd be the deal. I personally have the Army Painter and the Soft Whatever Works the same. I personally have Army Painter and the, and the Soft Whatever Works the same. Soft what? Oh, oh, oh the, yes, the, the Soft Tone. Uh, wash thing, I think is what you're talking about. Uh, read my iPad incorrect, and now all I can think of is paints, pants the witch. <laughs> pants the witch, pants the witch, pants the witch. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm grabbing some desert yellow. I'm grabbing desert. Oh, no, I'm not going to grab desert. Oh, what am I doing? I got the perfect color here. Where is it? Oh, my gosh. Here it is. Terminate stone. That's what I want. I want terminate stone. And I want to dry brush the vanillas out of that those blue wings. So I'm putting some on my brush. We're going to wipe it off here. We're going to make a big pool of it here. And we're just going to come across this. We're just going to kind of really hit this thing. Now I want to come across it this way. I don't want to go up and down on this because I want to make sure we hit all the thing, the parts that stand out. That's the deal. And that's gonna look really cool. That's the deal, it's gonna look really cool. It looks kind of neat, I like it. Put some more on that. Oh wow, it's even, oh I love this. Okay, I love this a lot. I like what it's doing, okay. 
because the paint's not fully dry yet, so I'm also pulling some of the gray off there, which is really neat. I think this is really good. Whoop, don't go anywhere, brush. We're going to go up and down on this thing. It's kind of catching the wings a little bit. You can kind of see it in the light. It's catching the wings just enough to give a little bit of brown to them. And that's the deal. Kind of brownish white is what those do. Looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited about this. See, I always get intimidated and then I think things go good. There goes the family stream label. <laughs> You just blew my neighbor's mind. <laughs> oh, I did, huh? That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Paint the uh, pants the witch. That's what we're doing tonight. Do you have any fairy dust? I mean the speed paint, not your actual stash of fairy dust. I yeah, I, I don't I I don't want to tell you about the fairy dust I got stashed here. Tinkerbell is pretty pissed I still got it. Um no, I don't have fairy dust. Something tells me I should go look for fairy dust now. That's the deal. So that's a big piece of paint. That's what I need to do. I need to go buy some fairy dust. Oh, that's a little bit too thick, but that's okay. All right, again, still kind of going in with these wings, trying to get them a little bit less dusty color here. Then I got a plan after that. Do that it provides a nice sheen for wings. It's a white kind of shiny, sparkly. Oh, that's sweetness! That sweetness. I should probably definitely go pick that up. That sounds awesome. Good thing this guy isn't supposed to be sparkly sweetness. Otherwise, he's sad. Dry brush in the wings still. There we go. Almost. Got them almost done. Almost there we go. Okay. I got a lot of the this like I got a lot of that dry brush on there that I want. Okay. Now we are gonna take something awesome. We're gonna do something awesome. I'm gonna take purple. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, purple. That's right, you heard me. My D&D group has a gnome bard who throws glitter after every battle she action she does. That's amazing. Hi-ya, glitter. That's amazing. Play a, play, a, play a musical note, cast a spell. Blue, glitter, love it. Well, it's clearly spider season in Oregon again. Gotta go deal with the monstrosity before it hides. Yep, you can have those. I don't have any monstrosities. I say that now, and here's ones that come running across the table. You watch. I'm gonna have to kill it. Oh my gosh, I'm so afraid of bugs. I hate bugs. Morganite, more power to you, man. Uh, yes, Heiser, Hermes Pursuers ripping your Titan's guts out probably doesn't need fairy dust. Future project might. True, true. The stream is 67% more views if it had sparkly Tinkerbell wings. <laughs> well, I got the Tinkerbell wings right here. I got them right here. We already painted them. We painted them a little while ago. See, Tinkerbell wings. I got my Tinkerbell wings. My wife's Dungeon Dragons character. I got Tinkerbell wings. Um, Steve would be proud. My entire Dungeon Dragon group is watching me over here. Here's uh, my, my friend's bard. He's painting him up. He's all done. Um, and then I've got my friend's paladin. This guy's out of control. Look at this cape on this thing. This thing is so unwieldy on the table to have to deal with when I use miniatures in battles. And then we've got the rogue here. Here's our rogue uh, right there. Over the, over the course of uh, over a year and a half of playing, um, some of the things have broke off. The ear of the bunny is gone, but that's okay. All right, we're going to do a little purple here. I'm actually going to mix it with some blue. Some of this blue. This blue. I like this blue. Hydra blue. That's the deal. Maybe. Okay. Yep. There you go. Mix both those together here a little bit. We're going to make this like awful looking blue color, I think. There we go. We're going to dry brush this just on the tips of these wings. Just want to up the tips. And I want on the tips of those wings there. And I want the tips of these wings here. And I want the tips of those wings here. But I don't want anything but the tips. Okay. 
and down the side of it like this. Okay, so you can kind of see there's a little bit of purple in the wing now, which I think is really cool. That's the deal. I love it. More glitter. I feel bad that the paladin is such a droopy sword. I think the pill for that. Yeah, yeah, droopy sword syndrome is what he's got. I always have been curious about adding a little glitter to the paint and putting sealant over it. How do you do you think that's a thing? How about you, Baron? I don't see why not. I mean, you put if you put a varnish over anything, it's going to seal it in. It'd be pretty sweet if you ask me. I think it would be. I think it'd be pretty sweet for sure. Sure. Do it up. Do it up. Do it up. All right. Again, going just down the sides of these wings here. Get the purple and bluish purple on there. Oop. Let me get some more. Hmm. I know I have to be careful. Sometimes with this speed paint, you can pull paint off it if you're too, too heavy a dry brush. You know that from my days. There you go. Ah, no. There you go. Now you know. Matt, if anybody knows Dan does, there he's a much better painter than I am. All right, let's see if I can get my hand out of the shot this time. Down the wing. Down those wings. Down these wings. Down those wings. Just like that. There you go. Woo. A little bit on that wing there. Down these wings, down these wings. A little bit right there. There we go. There you go. One more part, and that's on the inside here. A little bit right there. Need more paint. go just going down the sides there you go okay there what do you think Wing's pretty cool. I think I should do more. I think I should do something else. I'm pretty proud. I think those wings are going to be pretty good. Let me see if I can. What about this blue in here? Pixel boo boo. Fixing boo boos. So, have a painting's all about fixing boo boos. All right, there you go. So far, I think it's looking good. We're still not done. We're not done. That's the deal. There you go. Eat a bottle of glitter, then give us a full disposal report. I may reconsider. <laughs> Hello, I just stopped in. Broccoli Docklands, good to see you. Thank you for dropping in. I uh, just dropped in, stopping in before I pass out. I see you're painting Winged Beast tonight. Sort of looks like the stilt walker in Furry Road. I don't know Furry Road. I have failed you, Broccoli. Um, sure. It's a Hermian Bermer, Hermer, Let's see if I can try it again. Hermesian Pursuer from Aeon Trespass Odyssey. That's the deal. And then I saw the front. <laughs> and then it wasn't that anymore. I don't want to crap on Rainbow Bright. That's right. Rainbow Bright. That was something my sister was in. I was there in Rainbow Bright. Furry Road. Yeah, Furry Road. What's that? Uh, furry Road. I have no idea what that is. No idea what free road is. Did I miss any parts of this? Probably. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit there. I missed. That's good. Okay. Now, what I want to do Mad Max Furry Road. Dean Drew also tried creating ranch dressing. The PC rolled natural one. It ended up being an explosive latex. Wow. Now these things are. Now they are make these pooping potions all the time. That's unbelievable. 
<laughs> do they so they probably sell them sell them by the gallon sell them by the dozen oh my gosh it could be like that there was a they did a oh my gosh there was a uh thing on netflix it was like a mockumentary kind of about that it was absolutely awesome wings look good baron purple on the edges was a nice touch thank you thank you dan i'm, I'm excited for that pretty pumped about that um, now what I'm going to do this is going to be interesting. I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something. That's the idea. We're going to try. Here we go. You're going to null an oil on the gray to darken up. There's a chance. There's a good chance. There's a good chance. Because the first thing I'm going to do is this. And this is going to be something like, why am I going to do this? Because I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to use a Agrax Earthshade Gloss. I'm going to do a gloss. So this is going to make it actually look more, what do you call it? It's going to give that shine to it is the deal. But I only am going to use it on these. I want these to shine. That's the deal. That's the deal. I want these to shine. Shine on, you crazy diamond. Here we go. We're going to paint it on. And the Igrax Earthshade really shouldn't do much to these except add the gloss, which will be sweet. Because in the picture, they kind of look like thick and liquidy. And hopefully the glass will come out like that. That's what I'm hoping. That's the deal. I support the null and oil idea, Matt, uh, Matthew says. And it will be done. It will be done. These will give a nice, in theory, a nice little shine to this. Oops, I hit the boat. Get off the boat! Here we go. Here we put my worst painting screen when it comes to having people see what I'm painting. There's blurry or something. All right. There we go. There we go. Good enough. Okay. One left. Back leg. The base is actually one of the hardest things to paint. All right. So we are, I like the idea of the null and oil. We're going to null and oil those wings, but we're going to do that after we get the base painted. That's where the deal. Mainly because I want to get, I'm, I'm, I'm just still, I'm, I'm a horrible person and I still need a place to hold the miniature and I'm going to hold it by its wings while I paint the base. And if I null and oil them, I can't hold it by the thing. That's the deal. I support the null and oil idea, Matthew says. Be honest, did you buy Agrax gloss by mistake? Oh, you bet I did, man. Not, oh, I bought this by complete mistake. 100%. 100% uh, by mistake. Totally thought I had a Grax or shade. Came home, all set, had a batch of minis painted that all they needed was a Grax or shade because the other one was dead. I was like, I need a new one. And what happened? Bought that, painted it on there, didn't even notice the word gloss. Just slopped it all over them. And then next thing I know, I had glossy crawlers. And I was like, hmm, what just happened? And after that, after they dried and I came back, I looked at it and I was like, wow, gloss everywhere. What the heck happened? And I looked at the bottle. I'm like, oh, wow. So, yes, I am that guy who bought the Agrax Jersey gloss by mistake. I spelled it rain bro, brow. I'm an idiot. Well, <laughs> it's rain bro, brow. Rain bow, rain bow, brain. Agrax gloss story is all too familiar. Yeah. I don't know when they came out with that, and I didn't even know it was a thing. So I saw Urgrax Hershey, bought it, go, good, good to go, man, 100%. Speaking of Agrax Hershey, I do need a little bit more of the normal stuff. I do have normal stuff because I can't believe I did that. Um, some of the uh, wings, these wings need some, just a little bit of touch-up. See how it's kind of white right here? I want to get that with the Urgrax Hershey here. Then we're going to paint a boat. Then we're going to paint some water, which I'm not very good at. I can't remember why I did it last time, but it was pretty sweet. I also need to paint in there, but I'm going to paint that with, uh, what do you call it? Something as well. Um, yeah, right here. 
I go get those wings right here. Hit that beak a little bit just for the flavor of it. Maybe a little bit more. And hit this part here. There you go. Perfect. I don't think anyone bought Agrax gloss on purpose. Exactly, Matthew. 100%. 100% that's true. Gloss is for the Bob Saget. Gloss for the win. That's my friend, Eric. He actually plays this paladin character in our Dungeons and Dragons group. Eric, thank you for joining. Awesome to have you here. Awesome to have you. That's amazing. Thank you for joining. Sweetness. This is good stuff. The melon oil is getting a little jealous. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be happy at the end. It's like the it's like the last thing you turn to when you've done everything else. You look and you're like, oh. Nellon Oil, where have you been all my life? And I go for it. That fig looks outstanding. Thank you very much, Eric. Yes, so far we're working on this thing. I got uh, some purple on the wings, some blue on the wings, things of that nature. We got some some stuff going on in here. I got to paint a boat now. Got to paint a boat. That's the deal. I'm on a boat. That's a fun song. Not going to sing that song. I am painting this. It's for a board game called the. Is the Hermesian Pursuer. I don't. We're, we. I don't want to spoil what he does to people in case they haven't seen it in the game yet. So that's what we're painting tonight for a game called Aeon Trespass Odyssey. It's an absolute uh, masterpiece of a game. Um, it, it's so good, so good, so good. You'll have to try it sometime. All right. Where are we now? Oh, we got my glaze going nuts on the bottom of the shoes of these guys. I got to sweep this up a little bit here. I'm lucky I'll figure out a way to put this in my Dungeon Dragons campaign. Probably not going to be able to figure out a way. There we go. Okay. I know what he does. He kills stuff. That's right. I bet he pursues people speedily. Yes, yes, Matthew. I think I think you might be right. I think he does do that. It chases people down and tries to tell them about deals on cable servers, right? 100%. 100%. See? I told people we were going to spoil the game, though, and here we are spoiling the game. Now they know he pursues people and he goes for cable services. Now people are going to turn my stream off. They're never going to come back. They're not going to trust me anymore. Then I'm not going to spoil the game. <laughs> All right, let's get down here. Let's look at this. So first off, actually, I was digging that white that I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use that white for this sale that we had out there. I'm going to basically this whole thing, I'm just going to paint wood. I think that's going to be the deal here. I don't think there's much else. Maybe I might put a little. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm not going to go crazy on this base. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to keep this stupid simple. That's going to be the plan here. We have pieces of wood in the water. Um, I've got hardened leather. We're going to use that for the boat. Um, there's some other paints you could use. I've always found, um, so uh, my friend, the quitter, uh, he, uh, he, he, he told me like that wild wood, contrast wild wood, too dark. And I agree with him. I agree with him over time. I've used it and I'm just like, it's just too dark. And so, but then there's also almost seems like the same kind of paint for speed paint. They have a paint called dark wood. You think it'd be good for wood? No, it's not really good for wood. It's just a giant, bold, super brown paint. That's the deal. I imagine having good enough memory that seeing a stream would spoil a game. <laughs> so, so you're good. I can, I can tell you the whole story. You don't have to worry about it. It'll be all brand new when it comes out. That'd be amazing. All right. We're going to put a few drops of our hardened, our, uh, what is it, hardened leather onto our palette here, and we're going to paint that onto our boat. That's going to be our boat paint. Here we go. We're going to paint this. Just like that. Now, sadly, I think it's almost about the same color as those. All right. Not digging that. We'll have to adjust this a little bit. We're going to have to do an audible here on this paint. We are going to paint it all, though with this, and then we're gonna audible into another paint after this. We're gonna to touch it up with something else. I feel bad for any boat that this was. Hope it's not our boat, it'd be bad. I've watched a ton of Osworn episodes, and I'm quite sure nothing has entered my memory and been spoiled. It's, it's a useful skill. It is a useful skill. I'm proud of you. Mad skills is what that is. Mad skills. Mm. 
There we go. Put some of that on there. There we go. I'll play. Perfect. All right. Boat's starting to take shape. There we go. I'm not digging the pooling on this. What do I put on here? Take that off. There we go. Should have used snake bite leather for the boat. What I should have used. There we go. I also just realized I probably should have done the water first. I was going to dry brush it probably white. And dry brushing the boat white isn't going to help me out. But that's okay. That's okay. He helped the gel fish flins escape the beetles in the dark crystal. Oh, are those those guys. Okay, thank you, Matthew. Now I know what those are. I know what those are. Yes, the things that like had like the uh, what do you call them? The bat ears or the uh, what do you call them? Rabbit ears or bat ears or something. And they ran real fast. The trick is not to really pay attention. That, <laughs> that's how you remember games. I'm sure whoever owned that boat previously knew the risk. This is true. Steve, you're you're flying around in this area. I'm sorry, but you're going to be at risk of something going wrong. That's true. That's true. They knew the risks. They knew the risks going in. 100%. 100%. I agree. Pay attention about... I pay attention about as much as Barrett does. I won't remember... <laughs> <laughs> anything by the time I play. Oh my gosh, that's true. Oh, because Colin always tells me, so there's this game, like, nope, don't remember. So Baron, can you give us a story recap? Also, nope. Nope, Matthew, I can't. Um, guys came into a city, fought something, they had to leave the city because something blew it up, um, walked through the forest, um, went to a bunch of other cities, oh, drawing a paintbrush, uh, and that's where we are now. See it? I see. I know the story of Osborn. I'm good. I'm good stuff. I know it. I love me Dark Crystal. Broccoli Docklands. I used to love Dark Crystal, too. I haven't seen it in ages. I got to get back to it. I got to get back to that show. All right. We're going to paint the water first. That's the deal. If you have some speed paint medium, you could thin dark wood down and go over the boat again. This is true. And I do have that, Dan. That's actually something I'm thinking about because I got to figure I got to do something. It's too closely, it's too close a color to the other stuff. I gotta change that. Now, we're gonna do the boat first, or the water first. So I need like some uh, magic blue, oh boy. Or do I do Highland blue for the water? Hmm. Good question, Baron. Yeah, I know it is. Boy, um, definitely not cloud blue. That's cloud blues right here. Um, I think we'll do, well, first we're gonna paint a little bit of cloud blue up on his, this part here. I didn't notice, I missed this. There we go. Boom. Um, let's do Highland Blue. So do you have an, any preference between Army Painter, Speed Paints, and the GW Contrast Paints? No. I don't have a preference. Um, I think they both have a place for me. I use, I would say I use the contrast more. Um, but unless I want like a nice bright miniature, which I don't know why I'm using Speed Paints on this because it's some dark, vile creature. But um when it comes to the two different paints i do not have a preference no i do not have a preference i'm sure that the boat owner was sailing around fishing seeing the sight saving minonians when all of a sudden out of nowhere a 200 foot tall creature with a giant wing snuck up on them and stomped on their boat yep 100 percent. that's what happened steve <laughs> they didn't see it coming nobody saw this giant thing coming oh my gosh 100 percent. oh boy all right let's get this boat let's get this water paint let's go with I really want to do crystal blue, magic blue because I love the name. But I think we're going to go with Highland Blue. Highland Blue for the water. Highland Blue for the water. I'm going to find a bigger brush. I think we're going to use this one because there's a lot of blue. And I'm just going to drip a lot of it right in here. There we go. Oh boy, and I'm going to drop it too. Why not? Dropping is fun. I love it. 
Grab it while it's hot. Like it's hot, whatever. All right, now the other trick is I've, there's some pieces of the boat and other pieces of stuff in here. So I gotta watch out for that. So we're gonna paint this up blue. Just like that. All around. I'm even thinking about painting the rim of the base blue. Not sure yet. I'm still debating that. I'm going to go down this. And around. There we go. Yep, we're going to paint the base, the rim blue as well, just because I just did. I'm just going to go like that and streak it across. There we go. Paint all this blue. I think that's one of the pieces of floating debris here. I don't really want to paint that. We're seeing, look at the back of the boat. The crushed sail, there we go. Just like that, perfect. You know, that blue, oh, I think I hit a part of it. Oh, well, whatever. It's okay, nobody's gonna notice than me. Now, is that part of it? Yes. Now we're over on the outside of this thing, just like that. There we go, just like that. Hold up here now. Come inside, get this. There we go. We're doing pretty good here. Oh boy, lots of people. So are speed paints and contrast paints different? I thought they did basically the same thing. They do. So this is. So is that a giant critter or a tiny toy boat? Giant critter, Matthew. Giant critter. Good night, all. Hope you have some good rest and games ahead of y'all. See you next time. Broccoli Dawkins, thank you for joining. Have a wonderful night. They do the cons they do the consistency can be a little different, as well as the depth of colors. But the biggest difference to me is the format of the dropper bottle versus the pot. I prefer the dropper bottles. Very true, Dan. Very very true. Um, they do have a they are a little bit different sometimes consistency wise. Um, but yeah, overall they do tend to see to have pretty much about the same effect here when all is said and done. That's the deal. Yeah, when all is said and done, they do very similar jobs. So I don't prefer one over the other necessarily. I just paint with both of them so people can see kind of and see themselves, see for themselves what they think. Um, from my experience, there are really bright and glowing paints in the contrast for, in in contrast from GW that Army Painter does not have. I use those for eyes and fire. Oh, that's a great idea. I have way too many of each kind of paint. That is a consistent opinion of my, my wife anyway. Oh, don't worry, Dan. There's, there's a lot of the same consistency here. That's the deal. Thanks, folks. I don't know squat about modern painting. Hashtag boomer painter. <laughs> boomer painter. I don't know what a boomer painter is. Uh, Unless it's a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a baby boomer painter. Is that what you're talking about? Um, but I got to be good tomorrow. Tomorrow's my wife's birthday, so I got to be good. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the thing that everybody should do on their birthday, and that's have pizza. All 
那十六。All right, we're continuing out of this water. We're not finished this miniature tonight, sadly. I'm gonna make a ton of errors in here in the water, which stinks. I'm terrible. Hey, birthday to Mrs. Barron. Yes, yes. Tomorrow is the birthday. It's a tough birthday. Tough birthday because my wife's a teacher, so it's right near the end of the year, so it's really nothing much you can do. I try to be good. I usually fail. No, I lied. I, I'm pretty good. She hung a birthday list on the fridge, so I just hopefully got the right thing. That's it. Sometimes I'm pretty good at surprising her with some fun stuff, but might go with the old reliable list this time. Painting around the base as well. Mmm, pizza, pe pizza, pezzo. No, it's not pezzo pizza. We're going to get the uh, Carbonis right down the road. Right down the road, Carbonis. Pezzo pizza is really good. It's a brick oven pizza area, pizza place in our area um, in White Bear Lake. Really good. Really good place to eat. Really good pizzas. That's the deal. Hey, birthday to Baron's wife. Yes, yet another year of putting up with Baron. Quite the reason to celebrate. Very, very true. I tried working in a school for a bit. I barely lasted a year. Congrats to your wife. Yes, she's been there since she's graduated um, in the uh, inner city schools. She teaches in there. Does a great job. Great job. Proud her. Wonderful person. Best thing that's happened to me. Since I, except for starting the channel. It's probably one thing better. Totally kidding. They're almost done with the water going all the way around. Almost made it all the way around. Oof, duh. My gosh. Oh, it's water. A lot of water. But you're on a boat. What do you expect, right? Here we go. Get some water on here. Do the through the legs maneuver here. There you go, good enough. One thing that I will say is different about this in contrast paint is uh, Speed paints, if you hit them after, with like a lot of liquid after they're dry even, they can have a tendency to reactivate, I've noticed. So for example, if I painted this blue right on top of this brown, when it was really wet blue, it could reactivate that brown. Now that could be just me, and I'm just terrible at painting. I think that's the truth. Almost done. Almost done. Boo, I hit his leg. That makes me sad. Okay. That's the deal. Oh, I need to go buy new paints. Dan is teaching me and I need to go buy new paints now. Um, Dan says that the uh, 2.0 doesn't reactivate at all. They fixed it. They dry quicker too. You need to treat yourself to the mega update set of speed paints. Wow. They are working on the formula to reduce reactivation. Aha! I don't think it does that if it's completely dry. Oh, wow. 
massive learning I just did. Massive learning. That's amazing. Oofta. That's stuff I didn't know. Stuff I didn't know. Now what I do know is this stuff's not going to dry anywhere close to in time to dry brush it. Which is too bad. Oh, you might want to see what I'm doing. I just randomly just start painting the miniature, not talking. Awesome, Baron. Good camera work. Okay. There we go. I bet your wife would love a big set of new paints for her birthday. Oh, that's a possibility. Not on the list, but sometimes you can go off the list. Sometimes. Sometimes you go off the list. Oh my gosh, that'd be so good. Not going to do that. Not going to do that. Okay, we're going to take some grim black. It's kind of grim. Um, I got a plan. We're going to try something. I'm complete I'm gonna complete agreement. <laughs> so this thing does have a few uh speckled dots on it up near the top. And its head I also want to hit with a little bit of this black. So it's got some of these like little dots of black. So we're gonna try to do that. So I mean it's gonna be a terrible idea here. Just like that. Can't see them because I'm way, but I want to get the head. I want to get that off of there. Speed it into the gray a little bit. There you go. I like that better. So much better. Okay, that's really good. I like that. Turbo Dork Fairy Wings is what she wants. Yes! Turbo Dork is amazing. I haven't, had it. I haven't really been able to use the Turbo Dorks in a while, which is really sad. There's a lot of cool things you can do with Turbo Dork paints. A lot of good things. Gamer Dude, so how does AN Trespass Odyssey rank uh, against the Awakened Realms games? Is it really worth the giant price tag? Yeah, that yeah, is. Um, it's out of control. I'm dedicating, I'm dedicating the Grim Black to Dan Roberts. <laughs> Your wife is going to be so happy with tomorrow when she sees her new paints. This is true. I can actually get them on Amazon right now so they can get delivered. I thought my wife wanted a new board game for her birthday. I was wrong. See, that's always, yeah, my wife gets a lot of those for her birthday, too. So, Gamer Dude, um, how does the Ant Trespass rank against Awaken Realms games? Um, I I have only played a little bit of Ant Trespass, only scratched the surface. But every person I talk to says that as you go forward in this game, it's really cool. Um, it's... It's an experience that it's it's hard to explain because Awakened Realms does such a great game with great time with games. I think this game has more to it than some of them. Um, there's a lot of different aspects of this game that are really sweet. I think if you were to combine like three different Awakened Realm games together, you could get something like on Trespass. But I mean, you, you, no, that's a stupid thing to say because every one of their themes is a hundred percent different from each other. Just the voyage phase versus the fight phase versus like the crafting with all the stuff and the innovations and not innovations, but the advancements and all this stuff. There's so many cool things going on in Antrus Vesasi. It's a ton of money. 100% agree with that. The box is as big as Kingdom Death Monster if you've seen that box. That box is out of control. So you just think of how much you're getting in that. It's just a, unbelievable. Um I, I hate telling people like, oh, go spend a ton of money on a board game. But I think this one's worth it. There's a lot to do in this game. There's three cycles if you get the the, the what they had last year. Um, and now there's like, what, six or seven coming out? I mean, for crying out loud, that's ridiculous. And each one of those is like hours and hours and hours of play. Um, very similar to Awakened Realms. Awakened Realms has hours and hours and hours of play as well. Um, hard. Hard. These big games. The thing is, you don't need a lot of them. That's the other thing. You only need a few. You only need a few big games. Um, I have way too many know this the flaw 
maybe. Who knows? So I do not regret my purchase. Does that help? I do not regret my purchase. I accept that dedication. Nice, nice. I bet your wife gets excited about her new paint. She lets you sleep on the couch. I bet you're right, Matthew. Bet you're right. I think the dollar per hour for Ant Trespass Odyssey is comparable to other big games. Yes, I think that's very similar. Uh, dude, wow. Okay, I need to seriously think about it then. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope that helps a little bit. Kate, good night. It was awesome to see you. Thank you for joining. Awesome to have you here. Um, I mean, you can watch my playthrough, but there's a lot of other ones you can watch as well. Like Laquitter Gaming did a fantastic video series. You can watch his just showing kind of what this game can do. And it's there's a lot. There's a lot going on. Lots of stuff. So good. It's so good. Um, but again, so are those so are those Awakened Realms games. It's it's hard. It's hard. We're in an age where there's a lot of games and there's a lot of games to play. This is true. It's a matter of finding the one that works. Find the one that works. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. This we're gonna be calling it pretty soon, but I am gonna do my Nellon Oil extravaganza because everybody wants to see Nellon Oil. Because Nellon Oil is the bomb. So we're gonna Nellon Oil the wings. I'm gonna Nellon Oil down in here as well. Um, and then I'm gonna have to dry brush this base another time. That 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 is just gonna get too wet. It's gonna be tough. Andres Asasi looks cool, but I've got too many big campaign games already that I need to play. Very, very true. 100%, 100%. 100% agree with that. Um, I mean, I've got Kingdom Death Monster. I've only played through once. How many expansions of that do I have? How many expansions of that do I have that I should play? Well, the expansions are up here, not even built. Well, we built one of them. We built the Gorm somewhere. He's somewhere around here. I don't know where you went. He's here somewhere. All right, here you go. Be it Null and Oil time. Here we go. We're going to Null and Oil the wings, and I think we're going to call it a night. Because otherwise, I'm interested. I know I got the smaller miniature left to paint, but we're going to paint them another time. I even pay him off camera. We'll see. All right now, I got to try not to touch the water. Okay, we're gonna null and oil all this back down a little bit. A little bit darker. We're null and oil. There we go. Get some more in the pot. Okay, we're gonna put the pot over here. This is my no spill pot thing that I got. This I got from Ryan over at Meeple Marathon. Go check him out too. He's amazing. He sent me this. Oh, I touched the water. I told myself not to touch the water. Now we're going to hit all this with this non oil. Open that pot a bit more. I'm going to have to get a lot of this non oil. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Spill the pot I get over there. There we go, kind of swiping it out to the edges. Too much of it down here. We gotta take some of that off. There we go. There's one side of the wings. The next side here. Flip it around. We go up the wing. Oh my gosh. We be null and oil it. That's right. And trespass looks like a cross between Kingdom Death Monster and Seventh Continent. Steve, 100% correct. I really think that's a good good way to think about it. It's got a lot of things Kingdom Death Monster had with like the whole crafting concepts um, and all that, where it also had, it also has a great uh, exploration system, very similar to Seventh Continent. Like, which is another one of my favorite games. I love Seven Con. It's a great, fun game. I'm looking forward to Seven Citadel. I think that'll be great. It reminds me, I gotta do that video. I promise people a video about like where are my games now and do I still have them and do I still play them? Stuff like that. I was gonna do that. I just remembered I was gonna do that. Okay, those are done. Now we're gonna get on the inside of these wings. How am I gonna get the inside? Here we go. Okay, that's a lot of nylon oil. But that's the beauty of paintbrush. You can just take it from one place, put it somewhere else. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I would null and oil the whole thing except the water. Oh yeah, that'd be something, huh? Okay, William from Hungry Gamer. He does that. He loves to do that. 
That's the deal. Spill the pot. Spill the pot. Spill the pot. No, not spilling the pot. I can't even see what I'm painting right now. I'm just nulling. I'm just blocking it right in there. Plop, plop, fuzz, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. There you go. It just goes right in there. There you go. That made the wings look so cool. Yeah, that's, it, it really did. It's amazing what Nellan Oil can do to things, huh? All right, get that in there. Get that down in there, almost done. There we go. That's pretty good. Love it. Touch the base. Awesome. Nulling the gray. Nulling the gray. You want me to get the gray too? All right, I'll get the gray too. Why not? A lot of null and oil, but all right, here we go. If I can get this done. Really make it turn gray here. Null in the gray, he says. All right, Matthew says null in the gray, but more than gonna make it a lot darker, but maybe that'll be good. There you go, almost done. Since we're almost done, Fire Drake shows up. That's usually on par. Sorry, my hand is totally in the way. It's like the worst painting setup ever. I totally failed on where to put that camera, my painting camera. I apologize so much. There. Boom. All right. Oh, I fell over. Oh my gosh. Fell over. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hey everyone. I just dropped in to drop in a like. Love it. Thank you so much. Fire Drake. Amazing. Thank you so much. I think it looks pretty dark in the art. It does look very dark in the art. You're right. hundred percent. Yep. That thing is creepy. It is pretty creepy. Fire Drake. Pretty creepy. It's true. Nothing screams creepy. Like, yeah, and trespass us, so you gotta make it creepy here. Just looking at a little bit of here. All right, I think we're okay. Hang out with me at Gen Con, and I'll fill in the gaps too. <laughs> nice. No, no. We've had an exciting, excellent view of your knuckle tonight. Yes, it's been fantastic. Always late to the party. Oh, fire drink, that's okay. So, yes, you're here just now. Okay, so I'm not gonna do the base. We're gonna stop here. I think we're gonna stop for the night. Not to mention, they don't have much I can hold this thing by anymore. Um, I'm gonna dry brush this white. Um, and then I'm gonna I have to paint. I'm gonna paint these sails actually with that white we were using before. Was it the stone one? I think that'll look really cool for a, a, a what do you call it? A, a thing of over here. Um, the rest of these are just gonna be brown. I'm gonna hit them with like that. Like uh, Dan said, I'm gonna medium down some of the brown that I have, the other wildwood brown. But I've got like a a medium in here somewhere. I don't know where I put it. It's in here somewhere. One of those is brown. One of those. One of those. One of these right here. One of these up here is a medium. I have a medium in here somewhere. I don't know where. It's in one of the things. So we're going to use that. We're going to medium it down. That'll be the deal. So, yeah. Some dry brush on the water looks sweet. That's my plan. I'm going to get it with a white dry brush. It'll look really cool. I think it looks really, really cool. That's my plan. So, anyway. I think we're going to be done for the night. I appreciate everybody coming out. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for all the wonderful tips for how to deal with this guy. This guy is uh, here we are with our with our guy mostly done here. Mostly done. Let's see if I can get him with someone. Uh, I don't like that. Camera's not good. Yet, but here we go. I think he's looking pretty cool. Got some going on here. Got the wing action. He's got some feather action. 
I think he's gonna look really neat. I think I'm really, I'm really excited for that guy. I think he turned out pretty good. I think it's pretty good. It's one badass stork, he says. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's late for me, so I'm off. Good bed. Good night, all. Good night. Good sir. Can't wait for the next hit and miss. Yes, on Monday, we will be playing uh, the next of the... Oldsworn. Oldsworn will be coming. Um, painting episode next week as well. Hopefully get another painting episode. That's amazing. Looks like the stork that dropped me off. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yeah, I uh, hit and miss coming. Another painting episode. Drop in Stranger Things this week tomorrow. Drop in ISS Vanguard uh sometime next week. Uh those are paint done. I mean they're they're they recorded. I have to edit and stuff together. Um that's always it takes it's always longer to edit stuff together than it is to actually film it sometimes. Matthew, it was a buzzard. <laughs> So we shall see. We shall see. That's my that's my plan. And after that, we'll see where the road takes us. Um, I'm hoping to get the Vampire the Masquerade. I kickstarted that or game found that. I forget which one was, but I think that's close to delivering. So hopefully, we'll see what that happens there. Otherwise, of course, we still have uh, we got a lot of fun stuff to play. So we'll have to get to it. Anyway, that's be all I got. I appreciate everybody being here. I'm going to set myself up for the ending here so I don't screw this all up. Otherwise, I look like a fool every time. Uh, perfect. Thank you all for watching. You are what makes this so much fun to do. Nefarious. Awesome to see you. Sorry I missed you jumping in here at the last minute there. Awesome to see you. Nice blue, he says. It is a cool blue. I'm hoping to, and hopefully I can get a better next painting stream. I'll probably have it finished and I can show you everything I did with it. I think it'll be good. So, anyway. I appreciate you all being here. This is what you guys are what makes this amazing and fun. So thank you so much for joining. I'm excited to go back to this again next week. I don't know what we're going to paint. We'll figure something out. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And if you're excited to see what comes next, then of course, I need you to meet me at the table, the painting table tonight, the painting table. Take care, all. Thank you so much.